Alright guys, we are back. Yo, y'all seen it in the title? It is a fire chapter, okay? I know last video I predicted this chapter to be Beast Gohan versus Ultra Instinct Goku. I don't technically want, want to name that this, you feel what I'm saying? But rather, we already know the title for the next video. But guys, go on ahead and take a look at the screen now i would rather say that this was go tanks versus gohan you feel what i'm saying and the reason i said go tanks even though they're not fused is because yes it is the teamwork between go 10 and trunks nonetheless all right going ahead and let's look at it mind you last chapter goku touched down on planet earth after feeling the key of beast gohan when carmine and soldier 15 showed up you feel what i'm saying they thought they was on something through the blicky at gohan's house gohan was like enough throwing them beast mode you feel what i'm saying immediately goku instant transmission right down to earth he goes on to say to gohan you feel what i'm saying i gotta say gohan that burst the key from you a minute ago Wow, Gohan says, oh, right. He goes to state this, that he really wants to test this kind of power. You feel what I'm saying? He wants to take them and transport them to Beerus's planet so that he can test the limit of Beast Gohan's power. You feel what I'm saying? He goes to make Gohan change. You feel what I'm saying? You're not actually going to fight in that goofy, retarded outfit you got going on, are you? Oh, right. Let me go back in the crib and go do my thing. You feel what I'm saying? This boy Goku is retarded though, bro. Like, I, I tell you, man, like, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, his, his, his act of self-carelessness is funny, but I guess it's because like he really feels as though they really don't pose that much of a threat. And not only that, but he doesn't know who Soldier 15 or Carmine really is. He goes on to state that he can transport everybody. He says this. He said, how's it going, you two? Where are you up to out here? He said, oh, um, just hanging out with my favorite brother. Goku goes on to state, why don't you tag along with us? They say, huh? Goku says, have a seat. I can transport everyone at once. He goes on to now instant transmission them all to Beerus' planet and to their surprise, Trunks, Gohan, Goten, Goku, Carmine, and Soldier 15 all arrive on Beerus' planet. Bruh, this man Vegeta is already sick that Trunks comes out. He says this. Trunks, why have you come here? He says, um, it was Goku's idea. You feel what I'm saying? He said, I hear you were the star of the show, Gohan. He says, yes. Oh, the Red Ribbon Army thing. Sure. In this particular bout, we go on to see that Trunks is being scolded yet again by Vegeta. Why is he being scolded? Because he feels as though, mind you, they always will have this rivalry between their sons. Well, Vegeta might. You always have that. I don't think Goku really does. But Vegeta always has that rivalry where he wants Trunks to be stronger than Gohan and Goten. You feel what I'm saying? So, after hearing of his latest power-up against Cell Max, Vegeta knows that Goten and Trunks were there. And he asked them if they had some sort of effect towards the battle. And, you know, Trunks had to, you know, make it seem as though some things was going on. You feel what I'm saying? Like... He had to, he had to. I ain't gonna lie, my pop was Vegeta, I would've did the same thing. But he goes on to say this, <clears throat> Trunks, did you prove useful as well? He says, me? <laughs> yeah, d duh, I, I played a huge part. R right, Goten? S sure. He said, I wish you could've seen it, Dad. All our slick combo moves. Gohan goes on to state combo moves. It is now here that they get themselves wrapped into something that they couldn't really chew themselves out of, but looked very good while doing it. This is where Vegeta goes on to state, why don't you go on ahead and let the kids take a crack at Gohan? You feel what I'm saying? Goku's like, huh? Goten's automatic. Whoa, we gotta fight my bro. You, you sure about this? You feel what I'm saying? But Trunks is already pumped. 
a, he's already in it, knee deep, but it, he also admires Vegeta, so he also wants to make him look proud. You feel what I'm saying? So, he said, why not pit Gohan against these two whelps first? He says, hmm? He said, okay, sure. This way I get a peek at Gohan's power before our actual fight. You feel what I'm saying? He said, well, this is perfect, Goten. Let's give it a shot. He said, well, don't you two sound confident. Moving on, they start to get right into the battle. You feel what I'm saying? This right here, I'm not gonna lie. I love the way that this look because you get to see the real big display of power between the two. So off rip, but Go Goku goes on to state that it's only in Super Saiyan. So these two, they start to go back and forth. I'm gonna leave the panels right there as I talk. You feel what I'm saying? So they go on, they're moving, they're doing their thing. They're actually fighting as a team. But to none of their surprise, you know, Gohan is doing a magnificent job at dodging all of their attacks and making sure that they can definitely not land a hit on him. Gohan goes on to state to make the battle more interesting. Why not lose the headgear? You know what I mean? It makes it tougher to see your opponents. They say awesome and continue into the battle. That's when Broly starts to get surprised, not realizing that the two can go Super Saiyan as well. Because Broly, remember to Broly, this is all something that is very, very new. And he thought that it was something only Vegeta, him, and Goku could do. Keep going on. They go on to keep fighting Gohan. You feel what I'm saying? And they're doing magnificent job chasing him down. Fight for fight. Punch for punch. They're doing what they have to do. You know what I mean? Almost mixing it up so bad that they almost catch him off guard you know what i mean and so they move on but it's here i like to see this panel right here is what really flashed to me this gohan versus chunks panel right here to block the look into the face the smirk like oh i see you guys stronger cuz you feel what i'm saying that part right there is what makes me really lose it when it comes to this chapter right here but let's go on ahead and move on to the more juicy part where these guys decide it's a good idea, bro, to try and use fusion. After seeing Gohan power up into ultimate form, they decide to try and use fusion to try and take down Go Gohan, all right? They do this, they say this, all right? We got people we wanna protect, sure. So that's how you see it, all right? So they definitely go into fusion you know what I mean? He said, Fusion, didn't you mess that up last time? He said, we practiced hard after that. No more screw ups. Keep that camera rolling, mister. Okie dokie, just for these guys. Bro, these, yo, yo. It wasn't that long before Gohan just, look at this panel, punted the bull punnet the bull you feel what i'm saying but then we get into the main match you feel what i'm saying take a look at the panel right here you feel what i'm saying goku ultimately goes directly into ultra instinct mode you feel what i'm saying i love it getting ready for it instantaneously so but we get a piece of good information here that this seems to be Goku's limit. Let's take it from the panel itself. Goku goes on to state this, no point in taking our time. Our best moves right off the bat, let's go. Gohan says, sounds good to me. Beerus goes on to state this, so Ultra Instinct is the best trick Goku's got right now. And we says it would seem so. And let's take a look beautifully at this whole panel. Just, just look at it. Just look at it. The way he goes into beast mode, bro. Right into beast mode. Snapping, getting that primal instinct back and getting right into beast form. Goku, Gohan, and Vegeta are surprised. And the reason I say Gohan is surprised is because I really still feel as though he's getting a good grasp of like, yo, wow. I can do this again. 
I can be him again. And Vegeta goes on to stare intently. Look at this. He gulps. He shook. He's shocked at the power that Gohan now has. And it is here that they go for a little bout for bout, you know, look at this panel i'm gonna leave this panel up there they're going bout for bout blow for blow but they have to put up a beer be barrier because of how much power is being displayed okay beers goes on to get upset stating quit wrecking my planet and when you look at the planet it is it, it that's a crater that's a, that's a crater okay so to be continued into the next chapter that is the reason why i wanted to name the chapter beast go well not even beast gohan but gohan versus gotenks okay that is the reason why because next chapter is where we're going to get the knit and the grit of everything of the true answer between beast gohan and mastered ultra instinct what do you guys think who do you guys think is going to win in the next chapter who is your money placed on i really believe that my money is placed on beast gohan given the fact that simply because we know that this key that beat uh beast gohan has is very high but beerus states that this is the only trick that he has it's going to be a problem fighting Beast Gohan. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, you already know what to do. Don't be afraid to hover and haunt that like button. Subscribe today to become part of the Soul Gang team. Nothing limb. Let's get it. Tap that notification bell to know each and every single time I'm uploading these videos, baby. And guys, remember to be good at the game. You got to kill with skill. And until our next nightmare, guys, I'm excited to be back. Welcome back. You feel what I'm saying? 2024. Guys, peace, guys. Love you guys. Peace. So <laughs>